In this week's vlog, I'm going to clean the AM van and take you with me as I do it, plus give you an update on what's been happening with AM details. And you can check it out straight after this. Hey there guys, I'm Alan and welcome to AM Details, where we bring you car care and detail related videos every week. Subscribe and make sure you smash that bell so you get a notification every time we go live to answer your detailing questions. Quickly before we dive into this one, I'll give you what it's about, really. I got the van, I needed to do a maintenance wash. I decided lastminute.com on my Tuesday night, let's grab the two cameras, the radio mic, wash the van, and then chat to you guys, one, about what I'm doing when I'm washing the van, and two, the current AM Details affair. So guys, stick with it, start to the end. There's lots of really cool information. Remember, anything you need is gonna be in the description down below, and also the iCard on the side there, you can dive into it, and any of the videos I talk about will be in there. So please do click them, check out the stuff in the description, hang out for the whole entire video, as there's tips and information the whole way through. Ciao. Hey there guys, so I hope you're gonna enjoy this one. It's a crazy idea. One AM Details van, a load of stuff preset, pre-done. I have a camera over here, which is gonna be recording the majority of the overview stuff. So you get to see that shot now. Boo. Hello, how you doing? And I am currently using the AED. So got my wheel bucket full of stuff. I got my two buckets prepped. I have a dirty van. Let's have a quick look around. So this has got Royal D side muck on it. We've got the wheels, which are fairly dirty. The reason I'm using this one is this one's got the auto focus and I'm currently using the radio mic. So hopefully it doesn't matter where I am. You're still picking up some fairly decent audio. Anyway, what I'm trying to say guys is I've not been looking after my van. She is fairly dirty. And I've had a crazy idea tonight that basically I think we have about half an hour worth of footage on both these cameras so I am just gonna carry them and go through a maintenance wash on the van you guys can come with me uh, and we'll chat on the way through so I'm just gonna dump this down here Oosh, which hopefully means we're gonna do the first wheel I'll see you on that one guys hello and I'm gonna put the pressure washer on and try and remember and talk to you guys through what I am doing whilst getting set up for for washing the van basically and then um We'll get on our way. So as a lot of you guys know, if you've watched the videos, been in for some AM details training or done anything of that elk, I like to do the wheels first, prepare for the noise. And the reason I like to do the wheels first is I could be potentially spending a lot of time on these wheels. Uh, when we are cleaning them down, you could be spending five, 10, 15, 20 minutes per wheel. I'm not gonna do that today. We're gonna try and do a maintenance wash. So I'm basically just gonna be using the AM wheels and the AM APC element of getting these things cleaned up. So let's rock and roll. Pre-wash first and then don't forget to get up in your arches. So get right up in there. I'm very conscious my AED is that right here. And there we go. So then before I go and start rinsing down the other one, just to save a bit of time, I'm gonna put our uh, AM wheels on here. Quite a liberal cleaning in there as these have not been used in a while. And then I've got also our AM APC and I'm gonna get that up in the arches. So we'll get up that, that up there for now anyway, into the arch. Leave that to do its thing. I'm going to take this bucket, whiz over here. I'm going to move this camera, the one that's catching the audio and the one you guys are probably going to be watching on, so be on the big one now, just out the way so that I'm not going to get this thing soaked whilst I'm working on the bucket. Where is it here? Get a nice sort of picture from here. So as the front one's working, let's grab the rear one and carry on with the maintenance one. Excuse me, camera. Don't mean to put my bottom in your face. Excellent. So a little spruce again. AM APC. Let's get up in this arch. 
It's quite a nice night tonight. The sun is just setting, so you're probably going to pick it up on that camera back there. It's just coming onto the van. I should have really have done the other side first in the shade, and then hopefully by the time I would have came around here, the, the sun would have been off the car. But to be honest, it has been a lastminute.com idea to do this, talk you through what I'm doing, and then maybe just give you guys some updates on what's happening in the world of AM details uh, as we go. So I'm going to pick you up. Wee! Take you over here now with me. I've got the wheel brush. Let me just set this shot up. Ding, ding, ding. So then you guys can come in and see. I'm just going to adjust that in. Oh, we are on zoomed in as we can go. I forget I'm on this one. So let's bring this in a bit, shall we? A bit more inclined like that. And there we go. So you can see me on that camera and that one. We'll do some sort of clever cut magic to make this look decent. So first of all, I'm going to just dive on the inside of the wheels. Uh, using the EZ brush. The reason I'm using the EZ, and um, the Go is actually my favourite brush, but the EZ Big fits between the caliper on the van. Um, most cars you'll get the EZ Go between the caliper, but on this one, just due to the tight clearance, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to use the EZ Big. Nice flexible brush. Remember your angles. If you can see what I'm working there, I'm working my angles behind the alloy. Um, you can sometimes use an old wash mitt as well. Get in behind here. Quickly go through there. It's building up some nice suds as you can see, but I'm just want to add some moisture to that now. And um, so I'm just going to work in after I dunk in the bucket and get on my way around. So as I'm cleaning these wheels up and doing this whole van, I'm going to try and update you guys. And I'm wondering if this could be a thing. You know, join the maintenance valet with Alan. Um, not entirely sure, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to jump some random ideas into this as well, so please do try and stay for the whole video, which will show you how we do a maintenance wash randomly on a Tuesday night, and also uh, tell you what's coming up. So, using the, this is the one and a half inch brush actually, it's a brand new brush that we got in. Um, the supplier, I wasn't entirely sure on it to be honest, but we got one in and the gents loved it for wheels, like that, that, just that extra larger bit for the wheel is absolutely excellent, as you can see here, when we're cleaning this one up. Uh, for just getting that better coverage, coverage on the wheels, just to make sure I've got that lip done. Quick little cursory around the edges. You've missed a bit. And that will be that. Get the smaller one inch brush if we've got one or the gentleman just been loving the two there we go the little one inch one is still perfect for in and around them and around the the wheel studs or wheel nuts whatever you want to call them lock and wheel nut and then in around the tire valve for cleaning that up so then next just before i come on to anything else i can very quickly grab this apc into a shorter viking brush is what we've been using at the moment we've tried our hardest to find brushes somewhere else that maybe we can stock or we can supply but um everything i'm using in this video guys you can get in the description there'll be a link to amdetails.co.uk or i will be linking um some links to amazon and if you want to purchase through them links thank you so much you will be supporting the channel which will help us get some more gear like the radio mic i'm using at the moment it's providing pretty decent audio quality but it's not a very high-end one that would have some gain on it and I'd really like one with gain so that I can get better quality audio to you guys. So I think that's going to be next or possibly a GoPro maybe. So that we could have the shot of us going on top of the GoPro. I'm not sure. Something to make uh, make the videos a bit more interesting, I suppose. And then the longer Viking brush up into the arch. I'm just going to work that on the plastics. Remember, this is a sort of maintenance valet for the MD tools. And whenever you're kind of cleaning these up, make sure you grab the the spoil, spoiler, the mud flap before cleaning it so you don't um, push it off the car. So very quick scrub with that. Just going to check where this camera's at. Going to move you back. There we go. Excellent. Before uh, cleaning down the arches. Here we are. So I'm just going to do the faces first. And then the arches. Remembering again to get in and personal with the arch. 
Push the dirt away, get trapped in my own bucket. <laughs> Superb, I'm happy with that. So let's go back to the rear one. Take my bucket with me. How are you guys doing over there, are you all right? Is this good? I'll do this. And I'll just spin this one around to give you guys the up close view. There we go. Perfect, let's see how that looks. So once again, EZ big brush and onto the rear wheel. So we're just going to agitate again. Remembering those angles. And then I get onto the faces. So a couple of things that happen. We've got some new products that are coming out. When I say new products, yeah, there's a lot actually. A lot happening. New products is the variation in sizes. So you guys have been requesting a lot of sizes, so they're coming. They're currently going out through the distribution network. So an official launch date has not been... Um, I'm just giving this EZ a right good rinse now, I've dropped it. An official launch date has not been made yet, but it's out to the distributors to let them purchase first so that they can have it in stores. But we've got AM Dress coming in a one liter refill and uh, AM Detailer coming out in a one liter refill so that you can easily refill your 500 mils. Detailer is already available in a five liter, guys. It is on the website. We're just waiting on the gent as Nick Nimmin editing the images for us to get them on there. Dress is coming. Dress is a complicated, complicated product for us. The one and a half inch brush now for the faces. It's quite expensive for us to get the parts in for it from America. Um, so the margins for us on dress are not great. And you know, I love that you guys are watching and a lot of people phone us up and I think we're a humongous brand a franchise almost something but we're not so it is all very local and getting the margin of that for five liters it, it's coming there's a couple of fantastic things that are happening that are going to improve how we can make things make things more efficiently to get our costs down so hopefully we can then um produce it in a five liter price that is um you know that we can actually market you know we could sell it at five liters no problem charge 150 quid and watch you all laugh at us <laughs> for wanting um to basically charge it at the 500 mil price for what people think, oh, it's cheaper. You're, you know, we're buying it in bulk, but you have to remember, you're still buying the same amount of material. It's only the, the 10 bottles and the 10 triggers, which you'll be getting, um, which we would make any saving on. And then putting it in the black jug, you've got it's costing, um, which isn't a big saving. So we've still got to try and absorb that to then supply it in the five liters. It's coming. Bear with us. So I'm now gonna do the tire faces, bit of APC into here, light scoosh around here again, and on. How are we doing on that timer? I should have done a start the timer now, click. But hopefully from when I started the pressure washer, I'll have a timer on the screen now, uh, timing away. I'm hoping to do this in 15, 20 minutes because I've only got, I think 29 minutes of uh, HD, HD filming ability on the two cards. The cards are currently run 32 gig extreme cards. Now, I do have a 64, but it's not an extreme. And I actually use that in the vlogging camera, the G7X, just because we, we filmed so much content, but we don't really put that high a demand on the camera, but I run an extreme on the, on the bigger SLRs because they put a bigger demand on the, on the memory card, depending on what shutter we've got them working at and stuff, so. Quick little scrub of the arch. And then we're ready to rinse this one down too. So, whoop, pressure washer, and away we go. So, I'll just quickly take you guys in on the tripod and show you for a quick maintenance wash. AM wheels on the front, tires done, arches done, quick clean over. It was a dirty van. These are protected, but you're not seeing any beading. There's nothing, you know, the protection on there is old. 
we actually don't look after the M van very well at all. So let's take this round the other side in vlog mode. The other camera is going to feel a bit left out now, poor thing. But I'm going to pop this here. Probably just going to do a wide angle back here so I don't get the sunlight. And that means I can just batter through these two wheels. I'm going to move this camera, but I can keep talking to you guys about what's new, what's coming, what's hot, what's not. So scoosh that up. There we go, let's rock. 15 minutes in already. Wow. Let's pick this up a bit. So, pressure washer comes around, big loop so you don't get any tangles under the front wheel. Excellent, let's go. My one worry is I run out of that time on the hard drive for, on the hard drive, on the memory card. I'm going to run out of that time on the memory cards um, before I can do the full maintenance. So what I told you guys, I've told you that we're bringing out two new sizes, the one litre dress and the one litre detailer for you all. There is something huge that I've been alluding to on the vlogs. I cannot wait to show you. We've started filming it already. It's going to be good, but we have to wait until it's finished to show you that. So what else has been happening? Well, not to talk much on private life, but baby Jacob is doing very well. And we're adjusting how my life and AM details and the team's life is going to work in the future. So that's why I've just put a small halt on the vlogs. Just a small one. And try and do more single shoot stuff like this because the vlogs are very demanding. Um, not to shoot, but to edit and then to keep them interesting. Let me know in the description down below if you do find them interesting, because if they are, I will continue to do them. But I feel I can maybe provide more to the community now doing this stuff, showing you guys how we clean. Maybe live like this almost. Maybe I should do it on a live stream to show you um, how we clean, what's going on. So Eon started, he's our newest member of the team. Eventually he's gonna come into a market and sales role. So he'll be the guy that you guys will be talking to. Not to say that I don't love speaking to you guys, but I really need to get back on the shop floor at AM Details now that I've got the processes in place. That allows me to do the media from there so you guys can spend more time with us. And it allows me to get the big push, the next step I want to do in the detailing bay, which is the training element and um, working on the detailing team so that we can get Scott a team member hopefully in the future, so position coming up and um, just get him super comfortable in the bay. Jamie's getting more and more demand put on him with the chemical range, so potentially there'll be something for him soon. So Eon's going to fill that sort of sales and marketing role where he's going to keep on top of me for doing the marketing. The the being on camera, if you like, but then it's going to help alleviate the time of taking the hello social medias and putting them onto the onto the Mac and then uploading them to Facebook. You know, doing the hello social media takes one minute. Putting it onto social media afterwards takes five. You know, um, <clears throat> and helping out with the emails and stuff. You're still going to get in touch with me. It's not so that I can disconnect, okay, guys, and it's not so that you can receive less of service. Eon is a fantastic guy, has a great sales background, has great stock management and customer service background. And once he gets a hold of what AM Details are about, which is great because he's already been a member of the team for a while, um, he's just going to amplify that ethos, that, that mantra that we have, whatever kind of technical word you want to use for what AM Details is, and just run with it and do all the, the great stuff we've always wanted to do that we've got written down on mind boards. He's going to help free up the time for me to do that while still provide the service that we do now, which I think is excellent, and possibly even improve on it, which is incredible. But for the meantime, he's been with me on the shop floor, and Scott, uh, he already is a keen car here enthusiast, but it needs to be shown the AM Details way for Batum. You can't try and sell something if you don't know how to use it the way we want it to be used. Um, and getting used to our systems. A lot of systems here at AM Details. Detailing is a systems game, really, so. 
he's been really good. This is week three for him. Currently working on a BMW M4 in for enhancement. Really nice color. Won't show you it in this. Potentially might put a picture up as I'm chatting to you right now, but that potentially won't happen either because basically I'm gonna film this now. It's a Tuesday. Don't know why I'm doing tires first. Uh, it's a Tuesday and uh, it's my late night. So this is the night when I would usually go live or in the future, I'm hoping to bring you lots of new things, YouTube related and um, So this is basically going to go straight on to Dropbox and head over to Dan. News on Daniel. He really liked the tranquility based detail and interview I did, which is cool. And uh, so we're looking forward to bringing some new stuff to you. Potential podcast style interviews slash hangout sessions. And uh, Dan's super keen to be a part of that, which I'm glad, super glad about it because Dan is a, a key element of this team. Um, fantastic at what he does and then started to get onto YouTube himself. I will definitely be putting a card to his channel, which I think is now hosted on the Status Center channel. Big up your friends. And he's got these great travel vlogs and it's just going to be so cool to get him on the podcast and he can help give you guys a little bit more of the technical side now. Yes, I edit. Yes, I film. But it is so good to have Dan to help me with his creativity and have multiple inputs on the vlogs, multiple inputs on the videos so they're not just no, become the same stale stuff all the time. This is something I knew was going to happen. This is my friend Mark Cools turning up now with his new XF. And uh, he's going to feel terrible because Mark is the nicest guy in the world. But he's turned up during this video. <laughs> and I'm going to ask him to make a tea or a coffee and disappear for another 5-10 minutes as I try and frantically do an APC snow foam rinse for you guys. But let's see how this goes. See if he takes it well live. No, he won't. He's saying right now he won't take well anything very live, so as long as he stays nice and wide, he won't be on camera for you all. See, I got distracted. I didn't do wheels faces on that one, so I'll just do wheels faces and fling a load of stuff into my face. Whilst I'm at it. So that's Dan. He's going to come and help more. Well, not help more, but be on the vlogs and potentially on more. Uh, he's doing really good and this is basically going to fly over to him and he will cut this together with all the cool camera angles. That poor camera around the corner there, look at it, the poor angle, it's got nothing, just the van in the sun. Um, he's going to be working on that. Eon's doing great, Scott's just back from two weeks holiday, dives straight into the M4 and Jamie is flat out with chems. What else is new? Ah. It's hard to say what I can tell you and what I can't. What is new is my friend Mark Cool has a new XF, which is potentially in shot and looks lovely. We're gonna hang out and play with that once we finish cleaning the van. So you all know how I clean wheels now. I missed the front. Let's get that rinse down. Superb. guys is basically how I do a wheels and arch wash and a maintenance. quickly rinse that down take this round the other side I'll come and get you in a minute oh hello how do you like that bit of clever photography there videography whatever we want to call it let's leave that there get rid of that wheels bucket I really should have put a timer on when I decided to do this crazy idea but I didn't 
scoot around here. Okay, so camera's telling me this is 24 minutes long, which isn't good because basically I've still got to try and APC rinse and snow foam this bad boy. So let's put this on here. Uh, how do I adjust this new one? Not entirely sure on that, there we go. Where's this? Tweaked it up there. Pop this on there. There's Mark's new XF, look at that. Nice, okay, I'm gonna leave this here, wide angle, go as fast as I can to rinse this down. APC rinse, snow foam rinse, until these memory cards say they're full. So you'll notice I'm trying to get as much off as possible with water first. You know, always rinse your vehicle down first. I am not a fan of putting a chemical onto a dry car. Plus, you can be surprised how much you can get off with just rinsing it down. Make sure I get around the front. It's gonna be very heavily bugged probably. This is perfect, because the sun is just, only just in the front of the van now. This is super good. Fill that lead round, I've already done this side. Big loop, use a big loop with your hose. It means you won't get it tangled. I'm gonna just quickly do this rear end. Time for AM APC. Excuse me whilst I go out of shot. Hopefully the boys have got this full. Oh, they have. They have. And get some APC on there. So I'm just putting the APC on the lowers. Basically them high impact or high grime areas. Citrus APC is gonna help cut through that. A lot of people ask me, why do I do this first? Why do I get the car wet first? Why don't I just go straight to snow foam? So for me, a citrus APC or a pre-wash or whatever you wanna call it, it does four time cut more than snow foam or at least AM detail snow foam. So I'm getting this on first because I'm not wanting to leave a long dwell time on here. And plus, I wanna give snow foam the best chance it can with a product I can leave on there for a long time to do its job. So I'm just diving down this side off a shot. I promise no smoke and mirrors is happening. I am still just scooshing APC around the van and then back on the rear, hello, on here. So I'm gonna do APC first. And the moment I've gone all the way around the van, I'm then gonna pressure wash it off. I'm gonna pressure wash it off from the bottom up. The reason I do that is purely so that I know where my pressure washer has been. I have a lot of people say, why aren't you trying to defy gravity? Yada, yada, yada. I get paid to wash cars. I'm not trying to be fast while I am for this, this video. <laughs> but I'm not trying to be fast when I'm doing a customer's car. I'm trying to get the, as clean as I can without touching it, so. In cleaning that way, I know exactly where my pressure washer has been. And I can still see where the product is, so then I can just clean it. And it doesn't take any longer to do. And I'm not ridiculously up close, and I'm not like all the way back here. It's just a good positive pressure on the car. A lower cut. I forgot to APC that mirror, so let's see what happens with that with just snow. This arc. Give myself the big loop again. I'm just gonna quickly go out a shot, sorry, whilst I check the time on this one as well. This is saying 28 minutes. Oops, I'm pretty sure it said I only had 29 minutes of filming, we'll see. I may have to suddenly come back to this. <laughs> Around we go. And uh, rinse some more. From the bottom up, as I said, it's cutting through the bugs quite well. Just high impact areas. And then do this side. Nice. So the, as I said, the reason I've done that is purely for time. This is gonna clean really well for time. So I've cut through a lot of the grime already. And thus, when I put snow foam on, it's not trying to get through the easy stuff I could get off with water, or 
The easy stuff I could get off was using a powerful citrus cleaner. Now when snow foam goes on, and I'm gonna leave it on for a good while, well, maybe not for, <laughs> because of the memory on this video, but. Generally, I would leave snow foam on for five, 10 minutes. In that time, I'd prep my buckets, do my bits and pieces. Um, so then when I'm putting that snow foam on, it's then only working on the dirt that APC couldn't remove and that water couldn't remove. So I'm leaving it on there as long as possible. So it's getting rid of that stuff now that, you know, is super tough and you're giving the, the thing that can be on the car the longest, the best chance of working on just the super tough stuff, not the loose stuff. We're back. <laughs> okay, sorry. Not entirely sure where that cut out. Hello, camera one. Hello, camera two. Snow foam is on the car at the moment. I was explaining uh, basically why I do it from the bottom up. So snow foam on, you can go up and do three passes. Got this whole vehicle covered in snow foam. And also uh, if you do it from the bottom up, you're not gonna put loads of foam on the bottom. The overlap will happen up here. So if you do one pass, two pass, and it's maybe over the top here, then the snow foam stays on the car. You can actually see where it's gripping to the high impact areas here as well. I don't know if I covered uh, APC and snow foam as well. So I do the rinse first so that you get the loose stuff off. APC because for time, it will, in my opinion, cut through more dirt than foam will. So it means that once the foam's on there, it's only got the really tough stuff to work on and it's working on it right now. I'm then gonna rinse that off from the bottom up. And I'll explain to you guys why I do that. My theory for that is that once foam's on there, it's not doing this super duper clean where as in it's getting all the dirt, soaking it up into itself. And then all you have to do is get the foam off the car. For me, it's softening up the dirt, but not removing it from the car. So what you need is this pressure washer to then go through the foam, through that softened up dirt, hit the paint, and then pull it off the car. So we're gonna go pressure washer, through the foam, through the softened up dirt, pull it off with the pressure of the lance. Now again, that's not pressure washing from here, it's pressure washing from, you know, a decent positive distance, and it's gonna pull the foam off. So if I do it from the bottom up, I then have an indication of where I've been with the pressure washer. If I start pressure washing here, the snow foam starts coming down. I've not got an entire idea where I've been. I want to get as much of this dirt off as possible. And some people even do this and then just go out. So I'm not gonna have that comical mist of it. It's super, super easy. Let's go. So pressure washer from the bottom up if you have your pressure washer on. We're doing well. Ran out of recording time, and then uh, ran out of water in the pressure washer. Okay, here we go. See, super easy. Now I know the pressure washer's cleaned all of that, but as I'm talking to you guys, the snow foam is now flowing down the van. As it flows down, if I start from where it was last, I know I've pressure washed here, so the overlap, so I ain't gonna miss a bit. So I'm just gonna very quickly go around the whole van. Hopefully you guys can hear me as I'm talking. I'll talk to you about some more AM detail stuff. So we've already chatted about the team and that Dan's gonna be joining us a couple of vlogs. So I'm super excited to do that interview. It's a Tuesday night, which is gonna be the new YouTube night for me, where I'm gonna be generating you guys this content of how to's, potentially more videos of this style. I think it's not the memory cards that have cut out. I think there must be a timer on the camera. I might be able to turn it off that, you know, turns it off after it's recorded for so long. I'm not very good at being a camera geek, so I'll check that out and see what the crack is. And um, everything we're using in this video, you'll see in the description down below, guys. Linking you to the AM Detail channel where you can buy the snow foam lance, you can buy the foam I'm using, AM APC, the wheel cleaner, the EZ brushes, the buckets it's all in, it's all there at amdetails.co.uk in the description down below. Okay, so that's like one half of the van. Fairly clean as you guys can see. Looking pretty good, we'll come around the front. We'll do it now. The sun is setting, just lovely. I think we're gonna pull this video off. It's gonna work out okay. And then I think I'll probably only wash this side of the van with the, um, the two bucket method, just to go through that for you guys on film. 
and then I will call this little update wash it. So I talked about some new products. We've got the one liter detailer, the one liter dress. There's a couple of little branding tweaks happening. So we're playing around with the air fresheners. They're now coming out on a card, which has a barcode attached to it. The AM details range now has barcodes. So we're gonna be looking at the labels. In looking at the labels, are we potentially gonna do a redesign? Let us know what you think about that in the comments down below. Or are we just gonna put a barcode on a label? Who knows? Maybe there's things that have been happening already in the background. Maybe that's why I'm losing hair and manic in these vlogs you guys are seeing. Potentially that could be it. You'll notice I'm not doing the roof. That's because, um, cut to this camera. If I do the roof, then I will push the foam down the other side and I'll lose my indicator to see where I've been with the pressure washer. So I'll just do the rear now. Amazon is happening. We've uh, had a slight delay getting onto Amazon with the Prime because uh, all the checks that have been getting done because we want to use Prime, which is storing the products in the um, in the Amazon warehouse. They were wanting to do a lot of checks, check out our MSDS sheets, check out all our chemicals, check out that they're happy to be storing them in their facility. But once that's all done, guys, that, that means simple one push Prime for you. And it's the first phase of the big idea of how to tackle Europe and America. So hopefully it does work and it will be with you guys soon. Being able to use that Prime facility, which will probably be, for you Prime guys, amazing. Because I will put my hands up now and admit that our postage, it's not great, I know it. Uh, and it's just purely because of the, the area we're in and it's incredible how much you guys buy and new customers and all the parcels we send is amazing, but you tell that to Parcel Force and they go, meh, you're still a small fish. There's not big discounts for you. And because we're in the Highlands, we get stung with postage packs, basically, for being at the top of the A9. So the Amazon option should make it cheaper for all of us because it'll only cost us one shipping cost to get the products to Amazon. And then if you're a Prime member, you'll get free shipping. So you can just get your very quick top up of chemical or something like that. And then just use your simple prime shipping or a one hit shipping button, which will probably be cheaper than what we would charge you, which is the six pound, just because of the volumetric of our boxes. Uh, and you'll get them products easier. On that, our distribution network is growing, which is phenomenal. More people show an interest in the brand, more people looking to purchase the AM Details range to resell it, which is great. Uh, there's an email down below, sales at amdetails.co.uk. If you guys have any inquiries on that, please do get in touch. And that's on becoming a distributor or you're a trader and you'd like to apply for our trade accounts. This is all stuff that me and Eon are gonna be working on, making it easier for you guys to access. We have some great features coming up that we've been thinking about. But, you know, we have the features that are in place. If I could get you all on the phone and just talk to you, it'd be easy. But uh, get it online for the ease of 2017 and everyone wanting everything at their fingertips, take a little bit longer. So, Eon's gonna be working on that. So, visually now, how does, how does this thing look? Pretty good, right? So that's uh, wheel clean, APC rinse, snow foam rinse. Very quickly, go and get some bubbles. I'm gonna tie this up now, really really try and finish some off and i'll just show you now this is actually really watery bubbles guys see how watery that is it's um from when we're doing our own versions and stuff uh we basically slosh out the buckets that we do everything in and all the jugs and then that goes to car care this kind of watery bubbly solution so even though it looks like i'm putting loads of product in here it's just the dregs of all the bubbles in the world uh, put your bubbles in first if you had a specific product with a proper ratio. This is why I'm doing this. If you have a proper ratio product, and I say it in my how-to video, which you will see linked coming out in the card now. Um, for example, if you had a product that had to be put 500 mil into five liters, if you put the product in first and then fill this up with five liters, what'll end up happening is it froths up and you might fill the bucket before you get the perfect five liters in. So if you put the five liters of water in and then put in your 50 mil of product, you know you have the right ratio. And then you can just use your pressure washer 
to get you the bubbly suds that you're looking for. So the two bucket method, very quickly, just whilst I'm here, I'm gonna use the wash pad today. I do prefer the wash mitt, but I'm wanting to be fast now. Conscious this video is dragging on. Conscious you guys might be getting bored of the information or you're loving this, let me know in the description down below. So I'm just gonna grab the pad so I've got less risk of dropping it and then start to wash down the van with the beautiful Ian Bubbles mango scented. Smells incredible. If we had smell, smell a tube, you would uh, love it. Hashtag smell a tube. <laughs> Definitely got to edit that and done. That'd be amazing. Um, and do the two bucket method. So I've just cleaned up the car. I've now gone off the washboard, giving that a quick rub down. So any of the dirt that might be left on the car is now in the bottom of that bucket. Into nice, fresh, soapy suds and clean down the side of the van. So I'm just gonna do uh, probably half this van, guys, and really tie this video off, hoping that you've enjoyed seeing real time what it takes to clean a Ford Transit <laughs> at AM Details, and uh, you've enjoyed the, the update I've, I've given you so far, which is an Amazon update, how the staff are doing, a little bit on my personal life with Jacob, who's just phenomenal and the interesting dynamic that's going to be what we bring to aim details i'm working very hard on one sion's got this position and everyone else has done what our youtube schedule is going to be i think it's important that you guys get consistency so i want to drop a video every thursday at the moment so you can guarantee a video every thursday is what i'm trying to do and that's what this video is so i'm filming it on a tuesday so we can edit and have it on a thursday but i also would like to then have the how to's and bring the wheelie stools back um, and bring them to you in a style that you like. So potentially three videos a week would be incredible. A how-to or a live stream, the weekly vlog, which I can't wait to bring back, and then a wheelie stool as well. So we can just showcase some of the work we've done. Uh, even doing that now, it's working on, do we do a before and after wheelie stool? So it's like, hey, this is the car we've got in. Here's some scenester music and a little bit of what was going on during it. And then here's the after, you know, just a very quick, it maybe becomes a 10 minute video then instead of a six or a five. The, the before is a quick swoosh round. The scenes through music -y bits, just a quick two minutes of music showing you, you know, what machines we used, what combinations. Because we love when we see the comments, you guys saying, thanks so much for getting the rupees range in. I can now see you use a product on the video. I can go and purchase it and then I can use it exactly as you did. And that's what I think is incredible about this platform. We can educate, we can, inspire just by taking some time out of my day taking what if i took out 30 minutes of my day very quickly very rushed but hopefully you're enjoying it to uh to show you guys what we're up to i have wanted the, the grit guard dollies and kits since oh probably since i was 17 and on autopia.net and looking back at all my american friends using grit guard and then getting it into the uk was hard Who'd have ever thought that one day I would be stalking Grit Guard direct from America? It's just insane. And that all came from the trip to SEMA, which is just incredible. Um, which I can't wait. Potentially gonna do that next year. I did think about doing an AM Details run. So a friend of mine runs a great company called Road to SEMA. And I wondered if he would let us go off the back of it basically and take an AM Details team out. So again, in the description down below, if you guys are considering doing SEMA, how would you feel about a road trip to SEMA, which is you fly out, you do, I think we land in LA and then we drive out through the desert, all the good stuff. Basically the opposite from the vlogs because the vlog I did was the opposite due to Gymkhana grid being at a funky time. But basically you then land in LA, go out through the desert in the Mustangs, doing the whole American dream thing, get to Vegas, all your hotels are covered, Mustang hire fees covered. You go to SEMA and enjoy yourself. All you need is fuel and food. If I remember right, it's about 1,800, two grand, something like that. And I took a thousand pounds to go to Greece and Vegas. And I think I had a little bit of change, so I should have done some gambling. <laughs> but for me, it was a business trip, as you've seen in the vlog, so I didn't hit it hardcore in Vegas. <laughs> Vegas wasn't a tourist trip for me. In Vegas, I was working, so I didn't spend lots in doing all the jazz there. I just, um, did the bare minimum I need to and worked when I was in Vegas. But then once we got out on the road, really enjoyed doing the, um, 
the road trip. So I, I quite fancy doing that 2018. If you guys want to join me, hit me up in the description down below or find my email and send me an email saying genuinely you were interested and I'll have a chat with Andy and see if we can get on that and have like an AM details division. It'd be really cool to take some of you guys with us on a tour, tour of America. Super, super cool. Something else I'm going to work on, speaking of car touring, is working with our friends at Highland Cape and Hire. I will link them in the description as well. We've done one of their cars. The video for that will be in the card. And, um, and seeing about going doing a north coast, I'll run up here with them as well. Um, so if you guys want to come up and get in on that, let's just see if we can do some stuff with this community. Okay, so I've washed down the front of this. I've got the other side to do. I've got the front screen to do. Real time, I don't have a clue how long this has taken. I should really have checked or set a time, but I hope you've enjoyed me waffling whilst cleaning, really. I'm giving you guys this little update. I am gonna probably quiz these up here. Check this angle shot, hello. Aha. I don't even know what this looks like to be fair. Let's pop you over here. There we go. Oh, that looks excellent, actually. A little bit pan up. There we go. And do this side. Got my stuff. So I'm now going to do this. Whiz this off the dan and then have a look at my friend Marky Cool's car. And see what we can do for him. Tuesdays are meant to be a work day. I've then got a little bit of accounting to get caught up on. Some emails. And then we're good, I can maybe get home today. Past few Tuesdays, it's been Wednesday until I've got home. Let's turn that off. Interrupting you guys in the audio. So I've asked for quite a lot in the description. Will you guys come on a road trip with me? Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what else is going on. But I thought this would be cool instead of doing a live feed where I'm sat just answering your questions, which I do love doing. I love interacting with all you guys live, but I just wanted to get this recorded show you a little quirky what's it like to clean the van how long does it take thing test this style of shooting get your feedback on it so please do let me know in the description down below what else is going on me and Jim have been chatting Jim White for those that don't know about doing something if you've ever googled us though you'll see how far away AM details is from anything and the connections for Newark are not amazing. The trains, the flights, it's always you end up landing somewhere or being somewhere about an hour away from Newark and then Jim has to come and get me. Um, but we will make it happen. I will go down and see him. We will do stuff, hang, be Jim and Alan, and then I suppose we best film something detail related for you guys as well. <laughs> Last Christmas we managed to hook up, like we try and do most Christmases and thought, yay, you were both on YouTube, let's do a YouTube video. And we ended up just chilling out in a pub, chatting, doing our thing like two friends do, and didn't really record a lot. Jim got some cool drone footage of the park we were at. He used it in one of his first vlogs, I think. But um, we didn't really shoot anything decent for you guys, because we were in North Allet and just hanging out. We weren't at his bay. Uh, we attempted a Q&A session, but there was a lot of background noise in the pub. So, um, we didn't use it in the end. I will try and see if we can do a interview style thing like I did with Luke at Tranquility, which I'll also have in the card for this video. So just go on the little information bit and you'll see there's loads of cool informative cards in there to other videos. And please guys do try and share this with your friends. If you're really enjoying it, you wouldn't believe how much it helps us to have a share. You know, one share on Facebook, your friend sees it, they see it creates that spiral effect of it being shared everywhere on your forum. You wouldn't believe how powerful a forum is, so powerful. It's hosted on a forum, it's there forever. And someone watching it, one person might watch it and like this weird guy from Scotland who keeps putting himself on YouTube. <laughs> um, tries to interact with all his followers. I'm trying desperately to keep up with the comments. It's one of the big things I wanna do is answer every question, every meaningful question or every meaningful comment 
get back to you guys on. Let's get this pressure washer, rinse her down. Turn it on, Alan. So the last thing I'm going to do, well, I need to do the windscreen, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just going to get this rinse down and then very quickly put, uh, well, we codenamed Magic Pink stuff for a long time. And uh, a lot of people complained that we haven't like brought it out yet. It was hard for us to work out at the time how to brand it, how to package it. We weren't the size we are now. We didn't have the facilities we have now. We didn't have the connections we have now with suppliers. So we started playing with it again. And uh, it's really good. Let me go get it. We're applying it through a snow foam lance at the moment. I'm going out of shot, sorry. And it's working really, really well. Oh, there's like dregs in here as well. This could be such a terrible test. Look how much is left in that, like dregs. Let's see how much of it we actually need. Let's wind this all the way off. Hopefully the pickup hose is gonna pick it up. Let's squish, spray as wide as we can. Get it onto some product that actually comes through. There we go. Excellent. So we didn't know how to package this, but we think we now know what we're gonna do with it. We just need to refine it now, brand it, and, it, and it's good to go. Really, really good product. Spray that on there. And on here, I think it's nearly run out though. There we go. Where's the pickup hose? That's what I'm trying to find. There we go. It's actually picking up now. So let's take that off. Final bit of Lance Magic. And then we'll take you around and show you the van. So let's rinse this off. Look at that. Woo! Nice bit of beading, nice bit of sheeting. Great for topping up if you're a trade guy. Great for topping up those maintenance valets. It amplifies any product that's underneath it. Super, super cool. Streak free, yet to have any issues with streaking or it not liking other products that are on there. Really, really nice. It's fantastic at topping up the rain repellency on your windscreens. It just works super, super well. And I'm not really one of the people that are like, oh, let's pick up your own product. Woo, woo, woo. But we have had this in the go for a long time. Wow. The people that have seen this product come and go. But now we're at a level where we think we can market it. And there is a market for it. You know, there is a demand. A lot of people are now bringing this style of product out. And when we first got it, you know, we were nowhere near the marketing capacity or to launch it. But now, now I think we are. So we'll just pop this on here. I will come and grab you guys. Let's do this. Nice. Show you the van. Turn that pressure washer off, that noisy pressure washer, and show you guys the van. Here she is. A nice little look down the side of it. And the wheels. So I'm just going to flip the screen, try and do a very rugged vlog style hold hopefully go super wide how do i go super wide super wide super wide there we go Where's that round grab this have a look there i am so hey that has been this cool little vlog of us cleaning up the van i hope you've enjoyed it if you want to see more like this guys then give us a description a comment in the description down below let's do the official outro I really hope you enjoyed that style of video guys and if you did then over here will be the subscribe button please do subscribe and why not smash that bell as well so you get a notification every time we drop a video or go live plus oh over here two videos chosen just for you ciao